Hey guys, so for today's video, we are going to be doing a tutorial on this eyeshadow look perfect for Valentine's Day or any day you want to use it really using the primarily the blood sugar palette and I'm also going to be letting you guys know what I think of the premium Jeffree Star cosmetics box so if you're interested please keep on watching so first take the shade cake mix The shade Prick, this one is going to be placed more here, here, and a little on the crease. You can see I'm packing it on there. Then we're going to go in with the shade Kind of Mixing Cherry Soda and Fresh Meat. So we're darkening it with each color that comes. For the sake of using the same palette, we're going to go into this brown. That's going to help us darken and kind of neutralize. And unfortunately, this palette does not have a black but the brown really helped so this is optional but I like to use the black more to especially for halo eye looks to add a deeper effect and I'm really only adding very little it's only the only purpose is to darken not to take over the entire look then you want to blend it I'm literally just using this one to blend everything out blood sugar it is more metallic -y. it's not shimmery but I like how it looks spraying my brush applying it right here in this area you can kind of round it out from the top now that we have our red we can go back in with that black and put some here and here. Fresh me intermediary shade right here to make it look like a seamless blend instead of it looking like I just added some black there. I'm gonna be using the Imperial Lashes. I have a 15% off code as I already told you with them. So I'm going to apply this off camera and we're going to skip over the face because you guys have already seen that a lot because we do still have to talk about the Jeffree Star premium size mixery box. We're going to go in with these two. I'm going to add a little bit of black on the sides. Basically the same sort of color scheme and the metallic shade in the middle and I'm doing it before my concealer. take the shimmery shade again and we're gonna just place it down there and clean it up okay so y'all know this is mascara right here <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for it to dry because I applied mascara on the under eye and if I clean it right now it's gonna be a mess so wait for it to dry and then clean it with a q-tip That was a lot. I need it though because I'm gonna be working for eight hours. So, yeah. If you go to work with makeup and you feel that you get oily, take your powder foundation, your powder brush, and just do that. Okay, so this is the pre room box. The first difference was that this box was. $40 last time it was $30 the shipping was $9 and I think the tax was $3 so it ended up costing me 53 US dollars with the same amount of items as last time not sure why the price changed but let's see if you guys think it's worth it so we open it it looks like this you can already see that we have a 
red pop socket. We have one, two, three, four, I think liquid lipsticks and one lipstick. And again, we have a skin frost highlighter. And I just want to let you guys know, I'm not going to be swatching everything, but I will show it to you guys as up close just because I am not rich yet. So I'm going to show you guys the color and then I'm going to give it to you guys. Because like I said, there's certain colors that I just, I'm not going to wear. I'd rather give them to you and I'm not going to use them and give them to you. Okay, so here is the Skin Frost Highlighter. And it is in the shade Deep Freeze. Deep Freeze, that sounds like it's going to be blue. It's blue. Personally, I was expecting something pink toned. Like a pink highlighter for Valentine's Day. I will be swatching it. I'm planning on keeping it. This is what it looks like. It is a deeper blue than the previous one. The other one was a little mintier. And on the skin, this is how it looks. I think I'd probably use it more for a shimmer on one of my eyeshadow looks. And I'm not applying this because I'm going to work. The next item is... Can't relate. I love saying that by the way. Love glitter if you guys can't tell. And this is the shade. It is a kind of peachy nude. I don't think I would use it. I can never do my lips on camera this far away. I always overline them and they look ugly. This is a nude. Personally, I am not into wearing nudes this light. This is what it looks like on someone with my complexion. What I am gonna use this one for is to top it. To do ombre lips and stuff like that when you do like a darker lip or maybe just lip liner and then put this one in there. But wearing it by itself, it's not my thing. Next, we have Starfish, and this is a lip ammunition. Ammunition? Packaging, I think it's super cute and unique. This is the color, it is a bright pink. I will not be swatching this because I know I don't like the color already. So I'm actually gonna give this one away to you guys. You guys can kinda see it. I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day, but not for me. <laughs> liquid lipstick, the Lore liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Watermelon Soda. I guess you could say it has an orange-ish undertone. I am not going to swatch this one either because I am not keeping it. Okay, so this looks like a watermelon color. Obviously, that's why it's called Watermelon Soda. It is a couple shades under red. Another Velour liquid lipstick. This one is called Triggered. I'm keeping this one by the way. Because I've always wanted a dark liquid lipstick. And just so you guys know, I have not dipped it back in. So this is all with that one sweat. Okay, so I do like this color. It is a very brown and wine color. For this eye, I don't think that I'd wear it. I'd pair it more maybe with like a plum look or something brown or literally just eyeliner. I wouldn't want to do a pop of this. So, my opinion on it. Uh, I do feel like this one was better than the previous one as far as the color scheme. It's more on par with the theme except for the highlighter. But... I personally do not like the pink, so I'm not going to say it's a bad choice. I think pinks are perfect for Valentine's Day, and maybe I would have preferred a red, but I mean, how are they going to know what I want? You know, it's a mystery box. I don't think I would buy another one. I already tried <laughs> two random mystery boxes. It's an awesome idea and everything, and I'm glad I tried it out, but I mean, if I'm only going to keep two out of three and just find a use for the other one, I don't think it's too practical practical so in that case i don't think i'll be buying another one as always you are getting a bargain when you're paying 40 bucks versus the paying all for all of these individually so 
that is my intake on that. By the way, I changed my lip to Kat Von D bow and arrow, like always, just because I want to work. And this is more nudie, my type, you already know. So yeah. Okay, you guys, so this was it for the tutorial and for my evaluation on the premium box. I do encourage you guys that if you have been wanting it, that you try it at least once so that you know what it's like. It is exciting to know that like, you don't know what's in the box. And the Valentine's Day giveaway is coming up, so make sure you guys stay tuned and I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching.